Hello, YouTube and Facebook. This is Trey Dog right here. Trey Dog official. <laughs> and uh, I'm here at the 2013 Woodstock Fruit Festival with my man. And your name? Doug. Doug. Doug, right. tell us about you yourself and also explain why you came to the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Sure. Yeah, I'm Doug. Uh, my YouTube channel, Rock in China. Uh, a couple years back. I was uh, very unhealthy, leading an unhealthy lifestyle. Cigarettes, booze, coffee, just uh, late nights, high stress. Um, and I was, uh, you know, I was really sick. I was tired. And uh, I was inspired. Um, I'd been vegetarian before, but, um, you know, uh, it was like kind of junk food vegetarian. So I watched the movie Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. And that was, uh, you know, just really hit home, like, you know, uh, I could change this. I can, I can uh, change my unhealthy habits and get into some uh, fresh fruits and vegetables and, and you know, raise that percentage from 5% up to uh, 100%. So I, I got started with uh, juicing after that, which is all I craze now, and uh, got into a lot of YouTube channels like uh, Den Man Life Re Regenerator and... Uh, yeah, from there, I, I got into a lot of different raw foodists, tried some uh, gourmet raw, and then when I found uh, 80-10-10, low-fat raw vegan, I found, uh, you know, that was, it just made me feel, like, amazing. All the other uh, kinds of raw foods and, and veganism left me feeling still not my best. But, uh, so about, a, I guess, a, a year ago, you know, I started getting more and more low-fat raw vegan. And uh, last year, last summer, when I saw the 2012 uh, Fruit Festival, all the videos coming out of that, um, actually, I wanted to go to that. You know, I, I'd seen 2011. I wanted to uh, attend, but it wasn't possible last year. And this year, I was just determined to get here because this is where it's at. You know, all the all the stars in the you know the, the real raw food movement here, the low-fat raw vegan movement, they're they're here and they've got so much wisdom to share. And so, uh, you know. Plus meeting all these great people here, you know, everybody here has a, has a great story and they're really inspiring. They're all doing wonderful things. So very supportive community. And I'm just thrilled that I I made it here and that I'm uh, you know attending classes, doing exercise, and and, and uh, exchanging stories and information with all the attendees here. And it's it's just a real thrill. I, you know, I gotta get back here again next year. I'd highly recommend anybody who's thinking about you know really um, improving their health. You know, learn about 80, 10, 10, low fat raw vegan. Get yourself down here next year, and uh, you'll be glad you did. I mean, look at this food. This is amazing. We've got like heirloom tomatoes. We got uh, the zucchini noodles. This this food is is amazing. You will, and it's gonna make you feel great. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner here, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just a perfect environment. And, very uplifting, feeling, uh, you know, about as good as, as can be. Thank you. Thank you, Doug, for your uh, wonderful enlightenment on uh, raw foodism. Hey, my All right, enjoy your dinner, Doug. <clears throat> so, um, if you care to subscribe, my channel is Trey Dog Official. I uh, make music, I record um, studio quality music. So, if you're interested in music or learning more about raw food, and uh, health education. I'm going to be doing this for as long as I can, and I'm going to be continuing on a raw food vegan lifestyle for a long time. I've been on it for eight months now, and I feel wonderful. So, Lord knows what it's going to be like within four years. I mean, Michael Arnstein has gone from a marathon runner to an ultra marathon runner. And if you don't know who Michael Arnstein is, I suggest you check out thefruitarian.com or just type in the fruitarian on uh, YouTube. But um, I gotta enjoy this Woodstock Fruit Festival a little bit more. I got a little salad of my own going on, some zucchini noodles, some celery, tomatoes. So I'm gonna let you go, but I hope you learned something. Adios.